I ask you a question. Uh, usually, the question is general about the all about the whole story, and uh, you give me an answer. Well, the answer is not uh, at the same at the time. Yani, at the same time, I mean, uh, the same day. But you, we will fix it. Maybe three, four, uh, three or ten days after I give you the question. You send me the question through email. I will give you the email. Uh, or you will write it a paper. But I prefer as, a, as an email. I will give you a special email for receiving your answers. Uh, what else? Yes, about each, uh, about each story. And after two lectures, I think I will ask you a question about the old man. So. Uh, don't try to steal information from others. And I know you are going to study, to search for internet or some other resource. But uh, put in your mind that most of the, most, not all, most of the websites that talk about my question, uh, I know about them. And I know the student who has stolen information from this website or that one. And I know who has really written the answer. I'm not against uh, studying through internet or something like that, but don't copy paste from the internet. You read, you study, you understand, and write in your own style the answer. Understand me? You answer in your own way to my question. And don't try to cheat or some take the same answer from this uh, What else? Take this. And I prefer you all have a copy of this. Just to have an idea about the elements of the course. <coughs> so, back to uh, our lecture. We are still the old man the sea which day? Yeah, day three. <coughs> A short introduction about four we start. A quick revision about day two. Four we start day three. You remember, uh, day two is a lucky day, right, for Santiago? Day two is the day in which Santiago fishes the market. So it is a lucky day. And you remember how he reads, how he deals with the fish, how he speaks with the fish, and the way he fishes the market. How sometimes he gives the line, sometimes puts it in. Come on, fish, come on, eat it, and the like, and you will remember. We stopped in the challenge that Santiago is in. You remember the challenge? What was the danger? What was the challenge that after fishing the Marlene, Santiago becomes in? What is the, the dangerous situation? Santiago faces when he fishes Marlene. Marlene. You remember? Yes, Amber. Yes, that's uh, the lost in the open sea. Right. And there were the many sharks. Um, no, still, sharks do, do not appear till now. Sharks, we are, we are, still we are without sharks. No, no, He's in the middle of the sea, this is itself a danger. <coughs> Right, it's an adventure, we all agree. But uh, he fishes this, uh, the fish, right? What does the fish do? So, okay. Yes, Laha? Uh, the marine was like, controlled on the, um, on the boat, and he right. uh, couldn't uh, move it uh, uh, even one inch. Right, the marine, thank you, the marine controls the boat now. Marlene controls Santiago and not vice versa. And not, I mean, Santiago controls the This is the most dangerous moment. 
magnetic fields. He doesn't have the power to move his boat, but the boat is moved by the Marlene. So we stopped here in the previous lecture. We go on. He continues in one hope, for one hope, Santiago, that with the passage of time, the fish will get weaker, weaker and tired until finally it will give up. You know, give up? Just listen. But let us see what will happen. And it almost four hours passed from fishing the marlin. Four hours. Now came the, the, the night, the evening came. But still, the fish is very strong and it helps. Right? So I want you to post presentations today. Uh, Come down. كبار كوثر مالك سعدون مجيد محمد حسن. So let us start with كوثر. Yes, كوثر. Second X. You are after Allah. Yes.
Day, uh, still on the end of day two, and uh, this is now evening, and we have many, many actually uh, points to talk about. First of all, Santiago is alone, right? And it is from this night, that intimate relationship between Santiago and the fish stops. He began to feel a kind of affection, a kind of love to the fish. And he began to feel that uh, everything around him, the sea creatures, porpoises, and flying fish, others, are his family. And he feels a kind of affection to the flying fish, to the marine, and to everything around him, because he's alone. He spent uh, the night in one, for one thing that when he's patient, by the way, Santiago is patient, he's no patient, he can stand for a long time. But nothing changed. The fish is still healthy, the fish is still strong, and more stronger than Santiago. On the other side, Santiago is getting weaker and weaker. He feels weak, right? He feels hungry, he feels thirsty. And not only that, he got two injuries on his face and on his right hand. And this led to bleeding. And no bleeding, you, you, lose, you lose some of your blood. And this, is, uh, this, is, uh, this, adds more, this adds more to the danger of the situation. So the next day, from the early morning, uh, I would like you to think of this image. Which image? The image of Santiago is uh, waiting for the Marlene to give up. And he keeps a toad line that catches the, the Marlene. Marlene is still strong, 
under the water. And a bird, a seabird, warbler, or warbler, perches lands on the line. You see? You can you give me, yeah. imagine the situation, imagine the picture. You know, uh, uh, Santiago is a fisherman. He's a hunter. Right? He's a killer who is waiting for his fortune, represented by the ship. Right? And ship the ship, uh, sorry, the, the fish. The marine for Santiago is a fortune, is a money. He looks at it as a money, long been waited fortune, long been waited chance. On the other side, the Marlene is uh, struggling for its life, right? The Marlene is under, uh, uh, under the danger of losing its life because the, now the gap is stuck in its mouth and it is only waiting to be to, waiting for death. So between two of these opposite uh, sides, Santiago and the Mali. There is a tight belt line on which stands the what does this symbolize? You know symbolize? Someone is here. Tell us. What does this symbolize? Can you guess? Between two opposites. One struggling for its life, the fish. One struggling for its life, uh, for uh, for fortune, for money. Between them a line, and on the line stands a bird, a sea bird. Can you guess what was this? Yeah, symbolically speaking, imagine the picture. That's the idea as well. The waiting for the sort of death problem. Uh, for <coughs> the bird is what? Waiting for not to get to die? Yes, sir. No, I don't think. The bird is only as innocent bird, not tired, and stands on the line. Yes, I And that's why the, the theme of the between death, uh, death and life. Right. I'll connect it with uh, one line. So, yeah. So, uh, what you said is right. But what about the bird? What does the bird symbolize? Between life <coughs> of Santiago and the death of the fish. And there is a line between them. Between the line, death and the life. Right. What does the, life, the bird? The, the third element, the fourth element. Hmm? Well, this thing. Can change it. Can change it. Can change it. Can change it. Could be. Good opinion. But still, we have to support it. To give more evidence. More pieces of evidence. Thank you very much. Yes, Papa. <coughs> The, cut, the, the line did not cut yeah, it wasn't cut. When the... Uh, yeah, <coughs> so maybe, it, maybe it gets cut. Yes. It's also a good, nice opinion. Because that if the line is cut, both lives will be saved. Yes. Right? Yes. And Santiago will get... Uh, will, uh, will, may, will get free now and may go back to the shore and uh, fish also get free, it's free. Mm -hmm. but, but the bird doesn't cut the line of the bird. Only stands, and for a moment, after that, uh, he, he flies. Or the bird, it flies, it flies. Okay, keep this question for you. Think of it. Try to get Take a rest on the line. Yes, the bird takes a rest on the line. For a For a short time, it's not specified in the, the book. So open your books, please, on page, I think, um, 39 or 8. 38, okay.
I want someone to read. 38 second in the paragraph. The fish never changed its course. This is to show that the fish is still. Yes, All of you, page 38. The second paragraph, the fish never changed. The fish never changed. This cause. Uh, no, no, this uh, direction all, all that night. Yeah. As far as the man told uh, to from from watching the stars. Yeah. It is uh, called after the sun. Went down uh, and uh, the old man sweet uh, there uh, told Drive hold. Drive hold uh, on his back uh, and his arms and his old leg. This is to show that he spent a tiring night. It was a tiring night uh, because of the fish that he sweats. He sweated and uh, his sweat dried. His legs hurt him. Yes. During the, the day he had taken this uh, sack that uh, covered the the face yeah. box and spread it uh, in the sun to there. The right. Dry. Dry. Yeah. Uh, after the sun went uh, down, he, uh, he tied uh, it around his neck, neck, yeah. neck uh, so that it hung down over his back. Uh, he thought it down under a line. Uh, that uh, was across this shoulders. Shoulders. Uh, yeah. uh, they start uh, crushing, crushing the, the, line. Uh, the line and uh, that he had found a way of lifting the line uh, forward against the top. Uh, so that he saw that he was uh, almost comfortable. comfortable the, the position act, actually 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 was on only somewhat uh, less intolerable intolerable bearable and bearable yes sir. He, but he felt of it uh, as almost comfortable uh, I can I can I can do, do nothing, nothing with the fish. Uh, I can do nothing with the fish yes, and, and he can do, do nothing with me. Yeah. Imagine, yeah. And imagine I can do nothing with the fish and he can do nothing with me. Uh, they are of equal, of equal powers. Still, uh, it, it is a challenge. Neither he gives up nor the fish gives up. He felt yeah. no, not as long as he could be this up. Once he stood, stood up and under an arrest, uh, arrest over the urinate. Urinate? No. Uh, okay. Just to skip page 39, in the middle of the page. Then he said aloud. Then he said aloud. Yeah. I wish. Uh, I aloud. Say it aloud. As aloud. he said it. Yes, sir. Yeah, say it. Uh, that, that he said aloud. Say it aloud as he said. I wish I, I had wish, the ball. I wish uh, I wish yeah. uh, I had the ball. This guy over? No. I wish uh, I, I had the ball. I wish. So, sorry. <laughs> I mean, aloud. Say it loudly. I wish I had the boy to help me and to see this. I want you to say it this way. 
Okay. I wish I had the word to help me and to see the, this. See uh, how much need he is yes, for the boy. This is this. Uh, why? Do you sympathize with Santiago? Do you feel pity towards him? Do you feel sorry for him? Or no? And why? Because he was old man. Right, just raise your hand and say your opinion. Do you feel sorry for Santiago because he is in this bad situation? What about the rest? Ahmed, can you answer my question? Ali, what about the rest? Salih, what about? What about? So, uh, Safin says that she feels sorry for Santiago. First, because he's an old man, he's weak, and alone. <coughs> okay, this is acceptable, and I may agree with you. But, yes, how can I see? I don't feel sorry about him, because yeah. he put himself in his situation, and refused to come with him. Yes. Refused. Good. So others. Sien, do you feel sorry for Santiago? Hmm? Sorry for what? For Santiago or so sorry for the answer? Do you feel sorry for Santiago? Why? Why? Say this. Why do you feel sorry for Santiago? Come on. Perhaps I don't have time to wait for you. Said a yes. How you done that? <coughs> Said yes. Come back. Hmm? Say it. What did she say? Sorry. Why? I want an answer from you, really. I want you to speak. Tell me. You feel sorry for Santiago? Yes. Why? He's weak, old man, and Mustafa is smiling. Mustafa? Okay, is it? Okay, yeah. Yes, Simon. They felt sorry for Santiago because he called man and uh, weak. Yeah. And don't have, uh, don't have, uh, doesn't have. Doesn't have uh, a bow. Yeah. Uh, he has uh, he have, uh, a long time mm -hmm. from of, uh, of the sea. Yes. And uh, he around it of dan dangerous. Dangerous, yeah. Dangerous. Thank you, Mustafa. That's what he said. Uh, Actually, you, you, you may, you may. Yes, I'm done. You may? Yeah? Uh, sorry, because he, he brought himself in the problem. Yeah. But uh, they have a uh, 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 big mind to, uh, to fix they it. They or he has? He has. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, he has, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, Fight. Wow. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, he has um, a big mind to fight uh, uh, this problem and yeah. uh, fix uh, his uh, problem. Okay. So, to those students who feel sorry for Santiago, you said before because he's an old man, he's weak, and he cannot. Now he's in trouble because he cannot. He is powerless. 
But but Manolin offered him a help. Why didn't he get why didn't he use it? Yeah? Afraid of what? Afraid. Not afraid, afraid. Afraid. Who is afraid? Uh, afraid of the sea? Yes. No, he's not afraid of the sea. So he's very courageous. He's very brave. He's his experience. Afraid for he fears for uh, Manolin? There is no reference that he's... No, he has been working with him for a long time before. You know, he took him many times to the sea. Before. You know, he was, he's, not a, he's a fisherman. Manolin is a fisherman, not only a boy. By the way, how old is Manolin? How old is Manolin? The, the book says only that he taught him fishing when he was five years. How old is he now? Not maybe. I, I don't know. Maybe, but I would like to search and find. And at the time of you know, the Santiago goes to this uh, 85 days, how old was Manolin? We would like to know. Yes, I'm sorry. We want to say. It's about his life. Yes. And the songs, we have to go with it himself. We want to find out about it. Pride. Right. He's a pride. But your pride but must, must not go beyond what is natural. You, know, you must know yourself. You must know the limits you must know the limits of your of your power. As a tower of uh, you, you cannot for example uh, if you do not have uh, um, if you are ba uh, bare handed if you are bare handed, you cannot climb a, a mountain. Right? Unless you have materials like uh, sticks or something. So, M uh, uh, Santiago doesn't have that enough power to that big challenge. And Madeleine offers him help. Okay, I can go with you and we together we can fish that. But he refuses. Because of his pride, right? He feels, no, I'm so strong. He tries to convince himself. No, I'm still, I can do it. But in reality, he cannot. He cannot because he doesn't have, he's not that strong man. So this is, I, I may, and I may sympathize, I may feel sorry for him, I, I may not. Sympathize because um, he has that big breath, that he has that big personality, strong personality. But you must know yourself. You must know. I, I may not sympathize, I may not feel sorry. Especially, uh, there is a man who offered you a help. Why didn't you uh, accept it? You put yourself in this bad situation. And he, from time to time, repeats, if I have the boy, if I have the boy with me. Uh, this is this is the, the tragic flaw. Again, I say it, tragic flaw. Did you find its meaning? Do you remember tragic flaw? The tragic flaw of uh, Santiago is his pride. Maybe he accepted uh, the existence, the help by Manuel, and he wouldn't be in this bad situation. What is the definition of the tragic flaw? Uh, to admit me from other sheep, I ask you to go and search what is the meaning of tragic flaw. It's very important. And, uh, in the, in, the, in the story, tragic flow. And try first to understand what is meant by tragic flow and the definition. And how is this, what is the tragic flow in Santiago, in the old man and the sea? Um, I was about to mention something actually. Very important. I forgot. When you just thought I said the only thing meant to say for a while, a lot of pride and something. Yes. So what the himself. Right, he, he, he puts himself in this challenge and uh, okay, maybe I remember it later. I was uh, about to say something very important. But you see it. So 39 
page to there 40. There is a flashback scene in page 40, second paragraph. I want someone to read this. Abbas, yes, Abbas. Do you remember the time we had the option? One of the four Marian, the, the Mali fish always, the, the Mali fish meat. Male. Uh, male. Male fish feet. Yes, and the hog fish. The part that, uh, that's an extractic term, and all the, the time. The man had a stick thing with yeah. her crossing the line and the with hair on the surface. Yeah. We had stayed so close that the old man was afraid he would cut the plan with his tail, which was sharp as Sith. Sith. Sith the end. Was there any of Sith? Sith. Uh, it's a kind of... Uh, Metal device used for bluffing for Yes. And almost of that size are and cheap. When the old man had to get in. Yeah. Had her and had it her holding the repair. Both with its sandpaper, rich and clever hair across the, the top of her head and of her color tone. Okay, this is a flashback scene he remembers once in the past when he fished. There were two kinds of uh, two fish, male and female. First, the female uh, came to the bait and eats it and toes. But when the female is still, uh, when the male is still, a uh, female, sorry, still under the water, but the uh, gap, I mean, goes by the, by the gap, uh, the male keeps uh, swimming beside the female, trying to save her, trying to save the female. But he, he feels sorry for that. And by the way, the distinction between men and women Distinction between male and female is very much recurring theme in Hemingway's writings. The diamond, uh, in that means he feels that man is selfish and woman is sacrificial. You know, sacrificial? But uh, man, is usually, man usually makes use of uh, woman. Do you agree or disagree? Again, he says, I wish, uh, page 41, right inside it, uh, uh, men are usually selfish, but uh, women are the only ones who are sacri sacrificial. Yeah. 41, uh, the middle of the page, again, again, again and again, he says, I wish the boy was here. I wish the boy was here. Yes, Abbas. I wish the boy was here to see around and sit up himself against the rounded blanks of the bow and film. The strength of the great fish through yeah. the line he had across his shoulder, moving steadily toward whatever he had chosen. When the noise is thrown my creature, it had been necessary to him to make a choice. The old man thought that his choice had been 
Now skip to page uh, 43. 43 and uh, at the bottom of the page, fish he said softly. Step 43. Page 43. Fish in the bottom of the page. Yes, bottom of the page of the page. Fish he said softly. Did you find it? Yes, sir. The bottom job. Yes. Fish Sarah. Thank you, Abbas. Fish. I will stay with you until I'm dead. See how resolute he is. How determined man he is. I will stay. I will stay with you until I'm dead. I got fool you. I am uh, killed. Okay. He will stay with me too. Yes, sir. Something kind from uh, Santiago. He says, I'm sorry because I kill you, but this is totally deliberate. It's the only way. This is my job. Yes? Let us hope so, he told Now, this scene comes the bird, the warbler. Yeah, that stands on the line. Oh, I started from uh, how old are you? Now, uh, the old man speaks to the bird. How old are you? Yeah. Do you expect the bird to answer him? Of course not. Thank you, sir. Mama? Yes, please. Thank you. How old are you? 
Is this your first question? Yes. Raise your voice. Come on, raise your voice. Scar on his hand. 
because of the, the line of the fish. Uh, what a kind of a hand in the middle of a fish, and what a kind of a hand is that? Now, because of that strong push of the fish, his right hand was injured, and now he's bleeding. And after bleeding, he feels cramps. You know cramps? Cramp. No, no, not a pain. Cramp is a kind of uh, shrink. Cramp. His hand now is cramping and shrinking. No, not but shrinking. Shrinking. So, and he, this, is, this adds another difficulty that he has his right hand cramp. What a kind of a hand is that? Can then if you want. He, he, he speaks with his hand. Uh, Can then if you want, make yourself into a cloak. It will do you no good. It will do you no good. Come on, he thought and looked down into the dark water at the slang of the lion. Eat now and eat will strength the hand. It is not the hand's fault and you have been many hours with the fish. But you can stay with him forever. Eat the bunny toe now. Um, uh, what else? Yes. Page 50. God help me. No, almost. Second time, huh? God help me. Did you find it? God help me to have the crown go. God help me to have the crown go. To get ready to get rid to get to get rid of this crown. Uh, because I don't know what the fish is going to do. I'm already have a problem. And now I have cramping in my hand. God help me. See another reference to religious reference in the book. Yeah. So, uh, may God help us to complete this story next section. I, should, I think we should stop here, because uh, page 50 to page 65, we'd like to reach the climax. Try to find the climax in the story. And thank you very much.